Where is Deputy President Rigade Gashagwa? As reported by sections of the media, the Deputy President has missed in about a dozen state functions in the past one week. The nation is concerned. And a good part of the nation is worried. But we hope the Gadiga Shagwa is safe. I have it on authority of a senior government official that is merely missing away in action, mere, but is safe and sound. We pray that he is so. I ask about the whereabouts of Rigadiga Shagwa, and we shall interrogate this issue of where he is in the context of Rimulu 3. So today, we talk about Rimulu 3 that took place yesterday. And in my analysis today, Limuru 3 is about three individuals, Rigadiga Shagwa being one of them, the other being President William Samoy Ruto, and the other one being Uhuru Mwegae Kenyatta, our former president. But first things first. Was Limuru 3 successful? To begin with, did it happen? Yes, it happened. Was it well attended? Yes, it was well attended. Was it underwhelming? Yes, some people think it was underwhelming. What do I think? I want to point out to those who are rubbishing Limuru 3 that the other Limurus were about leaders. So if you want to judge the success of, the success of Limuru 3, on the basis of political heavyweights who are there, then certainly you will conclude that Limuru 3 that took place yesterday on the 17th of May 2024 was a failure. It was underwhelming. But that's not how I think you should do it. The world is changing. Today the people are having more say than ever before. So while it is true that we do and practice our politics through leaders, it is becoming increasingly clear and true that the people are having more direct say in their affairs than in the past. So anybody who ignores the gathering of people in Limuru merely because the heavyweights were not there is missing the point. The other Limuru was successful because Kibaki was the president. The other one because Kenyatta was the president. And you can go on and on. But today we live in a world, Kenya included, where the people are having more direct say in their affairs. So the people who gathered in Limuru cannot be wished away. Limuru 3 is a pointer to things in the country specifically around Mount Kenya, that the mountain is restless. And that's why I begin with the President William Ruto. I have said there are, about, there are three people who ought to be concerned with the Limuru Three. The first one is President William Samoy Ruto. The first take for the President is that something is happening around the mountain. These are people who voted for you, who believed in you, who still believe in you, who still love you. But they are mamas on the mountain. The mountain is restless. And therefore, the takeaway president for President Ruto is that he ought to take note that what happened yesterday at Limuru is not something to be wished away. That the people are hard asking hard questions. That these questions should not be left unanswered until 2027. Because the consequences may be too there for the president. Number two for the president. The mountain is searching. It's like a man an eligible bachelor searching for a wife. 
You cannot be searching if you have another wife. And if you have another wife, perhaps there's something wrong. So the question the president must ask himself is, why is Mount Kenya searching for a leader? I was their leader. I still am their leader. Am I going to be their leader all the way to 2027? Are there doubts in the minds of the Kikuyu nation? The third question that should concern President William Ruto about Limuru III is a, the cross-section nature of the participants. They may not be heavyweights, but they are representative enough to worry the president. That all major political formations from the region almost all of them without exception, had a thing or two with the Limuru three, including those that may not have attended. And finally, for the president, the fact that not sufficient voices from the region are condemning Limuru three, or what are trying to block Limuru three and its thinking yesterday and after should be a point of worry for the president. How come not many heavyweights on your side, your excellency, are seen to be directly opposed to Limuru three? The answer is simple. The leadership on the side of the president is aware, not just of the mamas around the mountain, of the questions that people are asking about this government and the president. The leadership within Kenya Kwanza from the mountain is aware of the problems that people are facing. The economic hardships in the region, government policies that are hurting, taxation measures that are hurting, including the new ones that are being brought on board through parliament. The leaders are so aware, they find it difficult to open their mouth and condemn Limuru III. They also remember, these leaders in Kenya, Kwanzaa from Mount Kenya, they remember the same community abandoned their own son, Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, and supported an outsider, William Samoy Ruto. Why? They didn't hate his face. He wasn't a bad guy. He had employed a lot of them into government. He had done a lot of infrastructure developments. In fact, what Uhuru does, did for the people of Mount Kenya, all presidents of this country combined have not even done a quarter of it. Yet they were able to abandon Uhuru Kenyatta and ignore his advice. Because they felt Uhuru's policies were hurting the people of the mountain. Their businesses were collapsing. The economy was hurting them. They hurt, they hurt more than any other person when things are doing badly. And that is what I'm asking the president to be aware of. Be aware of the people who abandon their own to support you. And ask yourself, if those things that made the Kikuyu abandon Huru Kenyatta are playing out today, and I dare say, almost worse than during Uhuru Kenyatta's time, it's time for the president to take stock and that, to me, is what Limuru III means to the president. To Hurumuigai Kenyatta. Limuru III simply means one thing to you, Hurumuigai Kenyatta. The people of the mountain are searching for a leader. They are grappling. They somehow... The pendulum is swinging. It's not resting. Some, they are looking for the leader. You are the last kingpin of the community, Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta. You have abandoned the community without direction. And that's why Limunu 3 is happening. Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta has not given the leadership required, the guidance to the mountain. If he still wants to remain the 
kingpin. If he feels the community doesn't yet have somebody, he should come up, stand up Uhuru Kenyatta, and tell the people we are still looking. In the meantime, I'm still your leader. We even have gone to Limuru and told the people, look no more, search no more. I, Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta, your leader, I'm still present. But if, as indeed it should be, that a retired president should go out, keep off from active politics, then the president, then President Uhuru should give guidance. Now, without this guidance, Limuru 3 has happened, in the manner it has happened. The danger that I invite Uhuru Kenyatta to consider is this. That the most powerful community in this country is now ladderless. Because you have not provided leadership required or the guidance or even an indication. This is not asking for too much. It's not far-fetched. Because Kibaki made it possible for people to meet in Lirimuru. And the meeting in Lirimuru said in one voice, I remember Michuki saying, Uhuru Mwegai is our leader. If you want to speak to the Agekoyo people, you'll speak through Uhuru Mwegai Kenyatta. That was Michuki in Lirimuru. You have failed to do that. Kibaki made it possible. And the community gathered to say it's Hurumwegai Kenyatta. The same community met when ICC was beckoning, threatening to devour you, and said you are going to run for president. That is the sort of leadership and guidance I'm talking about. Now in the absence of that, the Kikuyu community, the community of Mau Mau, the co community that controls the economy of this country, the most populous community in this country, the most political, the community that has produced three presidents in 60 short years of our independence, that community runs the danger of being just another community. Yes, just another community. If you think, I'm just talking, look no further than Rogoro. Look for the Luya Nation, the second most populous community. Some quarters believe the Luya are now the most populous community. They are only waiting for next census. Yet they have completely no impact. A small community, the Somali, a small community, the Kisi, have more impact in national politics than the Luya. That is where the Kikuyu run the danger of going. The danger of being the most populous. The community that fought for independence through Mau Mau. The community of all the billionaires in the country. The community of the most educated Kenyans. The community that controls Nairobi. That community may be rendered irrelevant in Kenyan politics. If you think I'm far-fetched, you think I'm dreaming, look around you in Africa and elsewhere in the world. There are nations where the most populous community happen to be sometimes the most useless communities. Look at your neighbors. Don't look far. Look at your neighbors in East Africa. Look at West Africa. Look at other countries. It's not always that the most populous, the most powerful, is in the driving seat of things, either the economy or the politics. And that's my challenge to Hurumwegai Kenyatta. Limuru 3 should be an eye opener to Hurumwegai Kenyatta and give direction to the community. You owe it to them. Your father gave guidance. Kibaki gave guidance. You have not given guidance to the community in terms of where they should help. To the last person, last but not least, Rigadi Gashagwa. Rigadi Gashagwa is the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya from the Mount Kenya community. Goes without saying, irrespective of what others think, 
He's the most powerful individual in the government today from that community. As they say, the deputy president is Kidogo to the president. He has breath. To the president. He's the second in command. He's the man who you blink and can become your president and commander-in-chief. He's not a man you can wish away. To regard the Gashagwa, I don't have much to say. Only one thing, that history beckons. History places itself before you. And what does history tell Gadi Gashagwa? If the community disintegrates, if the community is rendered irrelevant, when you are the deputy president, the period between now and 2027, and the 2032 and beyond, they will say one thing, Rigadi Gashagwa, the pot broke while in your hands. The Kikuyu nation disintegrated while in your hands. And therefore, my challenge to Rigadi Gashagwa, take charge. Wait for no man. Wait for no woman. Take charge and lead your community. It requires leadership today. Consolidate your power in the region. Just as I advise the community, play around the throne and get used at your own peril. You unite and you remain relevant. Allow others to joke with you, play with you, use you to break your own, and you'll be like lawyers. Unite around one of you. Unite around the one you have today. And to those who are in Elmuru, thank you and congratulations for the courage. This country requires men and women who should speak up when things are not working well. Heko, Gadoni Wamshomba, for speaking like a man, standing up for the community. But only advise you, when you say the Kikuyus are being removed from power, also think about other nations. Don't say Kikuyu out, Kalenjin in, Luya in. I'm not in, and I'm Luya. Secondly, for people like Mudoni Wagashomba, tough people, do not attack your own. How sure are you that regarding Gashagwa hold the same pain with William Ruto when they are saying Kikuyu out, Luya in? How sure are you that they are holding the same pain together? Ruto himself complained that things that were happening, he could do nothing because he was the deputy president. Why then would you blame Rigadi Gashagwa for ills, if there are ills? It points to one thing, to all of you. Work as a team. Otherwise, your community, this powerful community, will join my community in watching as others run the show, which is not good for you.